to this day, you know, kind of motivates me a little bit. So yeah. And what is kind of the challenge this year? It's got to feel so different from a year ago when y'all were all. Now it's about staying power and building. I mean, what's kind of the the challenge in that? Well, for me, it's the same. You know, I'm probably the biggest, you know, saying uh, level headed. You know, not believe, not getting caught up in the hype. You know, having that same mentality as last year, which is playing hard. I, I feel like we played every game hard. You know, no matter what the score was. So just playing hard, you know, representing that T well. Uh, just staying focused on that and not uh, so much the hype. I think, we, you know, all of us, including myself, I think that's probably been the biggest thing. Is that hard to do with numbers? I mean, you're coming off a thousand yard season. Uh, I mean, uh, Hendon, that's going to be hard to do, the 31 to 3 ratio he had. How yeah. hard is that going to be given those numbers y'all put up? Oh, man, you just got to compete, you know, let the numbers, you know, take care of themselves. You know, the first four games, wherever it was, I didn't have the best numbers. And, you know, kind of the last six or seven games, that's when I kind of took off. So, you know, just. Not looking so much in the numbers, playing hard, and the numbers will come. What was the turning point for you in this offense? Uh, I feel like the Mizzou game, honestly. Uh, you know, just not just me, my teammates, uh, quarterback, Bayless, you know, the whole line defense. I feel like that game uh, gave us confidence and, uh, you know, really showed how, how dominant of an offense we can be. When did you realize this offense was just a, a totally different beast than the one that you played in uh, with Jeremy Pruitt? Uh, the first day we got on the practice field. Yeah, the first day. Uh, Way different than anything I've ever done before, but I was excited for the challenge, and uh, you know, it worked pretty good for us. Cedric, I know you can't outscore everybody 21 to nothing every quarter, but yeah. but how do you build? How do you carry what you guys did in the first quarter onto the second, third? Have y'all looked back at that and seen kind of what went wrong in those second quarters? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think as we saw, the first quarters will come out, you know, dominant. Think the best in the country. I think if I'm not mm -hmm. uh, mistaken, uh, but you know, like you said, kind of. We're on a down slope uh, in the second, third, fourth quarter. So just learning from our mistakes last year, and it has to do with being more comfortable on offense, getting that big game uh, experience. Because, uh, you know, we're in a lot of the big games, kind of just, you know, the inexperience, I feel like, kind of derailed us. So just learning from our mistakes from last year. Cedric, Josh talked about the extra attention he expects you to get this year because of how productive you were a year ago. What kind of conversations have you and the coaching staff Maybe even you know, handing the guys on offense had about handling that extra coverage and attention. Um, really, just that's why it's my job to become an overall better receiver. You know, the best receivers in this conference get double teamed or get the best corner. Mm. Um, so just that's why my route running needs to be uh, perfect. That's why my releases need to be better. You know, and you know, I'll just say it, the other receivers. You know, they and I know they will, but you know, they they got to do their jobs too. And you know, I know they'll do their job, and I'm, I'm excited for it. And, to the season. How Speaking much that, have you go? How much have you kind of pulled those guys along with you? I mean, obviously your work ethic is well documented. How much time have you spent with those guys, talking to them about it is about the little things, and I need your help. Yeah, um, you know, and you know, I don't want to make it seem like oh, I need your help, but you know, what I'm saying I just want to feel like if we all do our job, everybody can succeed, everybody can be successful. So I spent a lot of time with them, you know, especially the young guys uh, that's coming in the freshmen. Um, but I'm excited for you know, from Ramel to Jalen to Brew to Chaz, Squirrel, whoever you want to name, uh, they're all working hard. I said earlier, getting 500 balls a day on the jug machine, uh, you know, getting 10,000 balls a month. You know, these are things that people don't notice that we're putting in work, so we're excited for it. Do you ever have a moment? Have you seen from Jalen this offseason that's continued to grow? Yeah, I've seen big steps from Jalen. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what Jalen can do. Uh, you know, I think Jalen can be you know, one of the top receivers in the SEC, if not the country, so. You know, he's got the ability to do it, and I'm looking forward to it. Did you have a moment where you thought about leaving? Um, not necessarily leaving, but definitely a moment of frustration. Uh, you know, seeing if I, you know, really wanted to be here or not, but ultimately, I, you know, I'm here. Uh, it's paid off for me, and uh, I'm excited for it. When was that moment of frustration for you? Uh, probably the COVID year. Probably the COVID year. Everything going on, uh, not knowing who the coach is going to be. Uh, you know, just not playing as much as I felt like I should have. I feel like that was a frustrating time. So. Uh, but you got to put your head down and work, and uh, things happen for a reason. Did you have a meeting with Coach Heupel where he showed you, hey, this is what the offense is going to be, stick around? Yeah, the first first day Coach Heupel got on campus, he talked to me for 15, 20 minutes, not even about football, just uh, you know who I was, who he was. And I think that kind of showed me that, okay, like, you know, this coach is the real deal. Had you watched him, his offense at, at UCF and, and at Mizzou as well? No, not really, honestly. I just kind of heard rumors when he got hired. Uh, you know, I really didn't know, you know, who he was. You know what I'm saying? That's no disrespect to him, but um, you know, I, all I heard was he's an offensive guy, going to score a lot of points. 
and they came in, all the coaches, you know, saying it, and I felt like uh, it was our job to, you know, back that up. So. How, how much?